Questions. Your first one you have had the time to prepare. What, and I probably should ask anybody in the audience this one, what is your specialty party trick? Well, as you can tell from the past number, I am a bit of a seductress. So, um, I like to seduce men with my wonderful party moves. Would you like a demonstration, Wanda? Yes, I would love a demonstration. Would you love a demonstration, audience? Oh, here we go. <laughs> For those that aren't aware, that is not a mating ritual or anything you would have seen in a David Attenborough film. That's, that's a dance that in the 1920s the men and the women used to do. The women were called flappers. 
These days we call them slappers, but back in the day they were called flappers, and I could never do that. Some people would do that so fast, that flippity floppity with your knees. Did, was there a name for the men back in those days? I'm not, looking at Cindy, I shouldn't be, I know, but she's, she's probably the most educated one at the table. Was there a male equivalent of a flapper back in the day? A what? A daddy? Actually, that makes sense. Yes, a daddy and a flapper. That makes sense. I'll have to watch The Great Gatsby again, I think, both versions to find out. All right. So we've done your specialty party trick. You've shown that off very, very well. And the question you have not heard as yet this evening or today, if you could change your sexual orientation, would you? Absolutely not. Um, I work with a lot of straight people and their, like, idea of fun is, like, Netflix and eating and then going to bed early so they can wake up early for work the next day. No, thank you! Do we have any straight people in the audience that have taken offence to that answer? All I've got to say is get out of yourselves, move on. It's 2020 fucking one, alright? Jeez Louise. Alright, one more time. Let's hear it for Elder Flower! Moving